Hi guys, I'm Truthman from Overclocking TV and we are here at the HWBot Anniversary OC event. Uh, right beside me, I have an overclocker that did attend this event. And I will let you present yourself which country you came from and what is your best achievement in the past 12 months in the overclocking world. Hello, I'm Briska from OCT DK and I'm from Denmark. And I think the best thing I did in the last 12 months was actually yesterday when I found out I had a 7 GHz Ivy Bridge stable. That is actually quite a good news. Yeah, yeah it was. I was pretty amazed. I bought it second hand and uh, it was really nice, real nice. You're maybe one of the few lucky ones that get, don't have to be in so many CPUs yeah, to find yeah, a very good yeah, one. Yeah. yeah, I was. I was. And uh, I got it for a good price, so it was real nice. So we are here at the, at the HWBot OC anniversary event. Uh, what do you think about this kind of event organized by overclockers for overclockers? It was totally nice, totally nice event. And I, I, I hope there will be more like that all over the world because uh, we need it. We need it to go together, meet and spread the overclocking news to, to get more people to overclock. Um, this event will, will not be possible without the sponsors. Um, do you have something to say to the sponsors to, to thank them? Yeah, I think they, they, they did a great job. Uh, they, 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 they do it for free. Of course, they got commercials, but then we, 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 we hadn't, hadn't got to think about all the things. We only had to bring our own hardware. So it's totally nice, totally nice. Thanks to uh, both Gigabyte and Cooler Master Inamax and, and, and all the other uh, hardware manufacturers I met uh, uh, along the week uh, when I was at Computex. So during Computex, there was a lot of overclocking events. Which one did you attend and which one stepped, uh, stepped outside and was the biggest one for you? I attended the Kingston event with my teammate Solio and uh, it, was, it was really nice. But the, 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 the best thing I attended was the Intel event. It was the nicest thing I have ever been to. It was so fun and there were so many people and it was just just good time. All laughs. So actually during the Intel OC challenge, the Unleash the Beast event, there was uh, a few teams, few competition at the same time and there was live commentary on the live stream. Do you think that this kind of live commentary is something that is definitely mandatory for any kind of overclocking live stream? I think it's good because I, I think we, are, we have to see overclocking as a kind of sport because it is. We compete against each other inside the countries and against each other outside uh, the countries versus countries. So it's a sport. So you have to have commentaries. Not, not, not all the time when you're sitting for yourself, but, but the big events. So, so people can understand what, what that's going on because if they see a live feed of some nerds tinkering with a CPU on LN2, they'll they, they think we're mad. And, and, and they can't understand it if there's no one to explain it. So, so yes, we have to have that more. Okay, actually, beside the, the commentary and the different cameras and so on, um, one of the th things missing in the live stream was the monitor feedback. Yeah. So do you think that monitor feedback and what actually would be for you the best overclocking streaming uh, experience. Yeah, it will be uh, with with with, with uh, streaming at uh, different uh, benches, overclockers, and 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 of course uh, uh, monitor feedback, so so people can see what we are doing, up hand, and, and instead of that, oh something in Windows, uh, and 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 when there uh, is a overclocker that's doing really well, uh, a close up shot, so you can see the tension in his uh, face, and because he's really nerve wracking, you are going full out at 110 percent performance and. You know, one, one more wrong setting and your setup dies and that's for tens of thousands of dollars sometimes. So, so it's real nerve-wracking. So you, you were talking a bit about the eSport thing. Um, the overclocking world is getting more and more into eSport, like turning more and more professional. Uh, what was the, the, for the past 10 years, what was the best involved in the increase in the, in involvement in these overclocking things? I think uh, uh, in the old days, Gigabyte uh, SOC and, 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 and still today, MSI uh, having the MOA. So that, uh, I attended that in 2010 and it was so nice. It was so nice against 16 other countries. So that, that's the best. Sorry. Do you think that overclocking can become a real esport with a professional team working full time for that? Yeah, if 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 if, if the sponsors are willing to take that leap of faith, because I I I think there's a lot of overclockers worldwide, but just at home, and they don't really know that there's this awesome type of people and this also type of 
of uh, sponsors that do that. So yeah, I think that. that. How did HGBD Bot change your life in the past 10 years? Uh, I, I, oh, how do, I became more competitive. <laughs> and I, 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 I made a lot of friends all, on, all around the world. And uh, jo- it, not just on the internet, but also in real life, and got good friends and friends I had for many years. So that that changed my life. I, I, I see different on people now because I met people from all around the world. What do you think about the organization of, of such uh, OC event like the AWBOT anniversary event when it's free to bench and there's partners involved to just provide some address and you can bring your own and do whatever you want with it? I think it's nice because then it's not uh, f- fixed events when you have to use this and this and this and, 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 and you, you're more free and you're more relaxed and, and, and then, then it always goes better because when it's like a competition, it's fixed You, you you never never get something done because you're so nervous and everything just goes wrong every time nearly so 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 it's much better this way more more relaxed and that that's good well thank you for your time we hope you had a you have a good trip back home a really good trip and uh, i thank you also thanks and we will uh, see you around in some of the uh, next over clicking yeah, competitions and and yeah and next year Combatex also. I can guarantee it. Good. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.